My name is Chris Chapman, I'm from Headcast Lab and I'm the Chief Executive. We create digitally animated characters and we have a unique way of performing them very quickly and we also broadcast them to mobile handsets. The main advantage of Superfast Broadband for our business is that uh, we already create our characters and perform them rapidly and we're looking for new markets where we can send those characters out and perform them elsewhere and Superfast Broadband gives us that opportunity. The main purpose of the feasibility study was to establish whether or not we could operate the characters to a good enough quality, to be honest, um, using superfast broadband, or whether there would be a really painful lag or delay that you often see when you're doing video conferencing. The principal benefit that we got from this study was establishing just how far down the path the superfast broadband had got for being able to deliver what we need, because it's a question of time. It will all arrive, but we just wanted to understand how soon we'd be able to get there. I think the thing we've learnt most from doing this study is that for all the numbers and the calculations and the technical expertise, the most important thing is just to plug something in and try it out and discover all the problems that lie around the edge of what you're trying to achieve. And that's been the biggest learning curve because there are a lot of peripheral issues we've had to deal with, such as firewalls and things like that, which might slow down the signal when it's being broadcast. Um, well, I'm Melissa Mercer and I'm the Managing Director of Pixel. And what Pixel is, is a photo, online photo sharing website that allows users to uh, upload their images and license their images to other users so they can make merchandise out of them. Well, the best thing about developing with Superfast Broadband is the fact that it's like you're uh, developing in a futuristic environment. So you can really push the limits of what you can do because um, an interface such as ours hasn't been possible to deliver to the home user before but it is with super fast broadband and um, yeah it allows you to push the limits a lot more than you've ever been able to do. The main task of this feasibility project was to create a working methodology of, of our interface. It had never been done before so we didn't know if it was possible, how much it was going to cost, if, it, if we were going to be able to come in on cost um, but that's what we, we were tasked with doing and that's what we did successfully in the end. The main outcome of the project is that we now know how to create our interface. Um, we, we worked in using a very agile methodology, so we were very flexible. We managed to get a huge amount done in a shorter space of time, and we've now got a live site. Um, it's password protected, but it is live on the web. Users can upload, they can register, and they can use the interface. And it's created a really good prototype to, um, you know, that provides a really good case for getting more investment in Pixel. The one major thing I've learned is that when you're working with Superfast Broadband, it's been very, it, you know, it was very easy to sort of carry on working in the limitations that we've been used to working with. And actually, it was very, really liberating to be able to let go of them and sort of really let your imagination run wild. So, if anything, I think I've learned that there are no limitations with Superfast Broadband and that you can really, yeah, do what you want. My name is Denzel Monk, um, and my business is Movie Bees. It's a new startup business and what Movie Bees is, is a equity crowdfunding platform for filmmakers. Without, without Superfast Broadband, it would be very difficult to even conceive of setting this business up because it's an entirely online business in a media rich environment and um, I think there's, there's both customer facing and back end services which are going to be enabled through, through Superfast so we'll be able to host everything on the cloud which is important for a startup to be able to scale at speed when we need to but without having large upfront costs and also um, being able to uh, deliver um, maybe live broadcasts certainly a lot of um, video interaction with our clients is going to be really important so without Superfast that would be sluggish buffering and um, intermittent with Superfast. It, it gives us the confidence to be able to launch into the business the way we want the business to run when it's up and running. The main lesson that I've learned through this study has been, as a, as a sort of pre-startup, I, I, I think this applies to a business at any stage, particularly if you're developing new product lines within your business, but certainly for a startup, the main lesson is just keep asking questions. And when you get answers to those questions, don't treat them as a conclusion, treat them as a, something to then refine what the next set of questions needs to be, so you keep learning. My name's Matt Walsh, and uh, I'm the Director of Visual Persistence. I make music videos and commercials, mainly for, for film and television, and do occasionally uh, features and more long-form projects. 
Super fast broadband will allow my business to uh, reduce the necessity of proximity of my clients uh, in that hopefully uh, we'll be able to work uh, over longer distances. It will also reduce carbon footprint and enable me to, to move large amounts of data very securely in comparison to traditional courier methods. So the purpose of my feasibility project was to uh, observe the um, ability of the broadband connection to enable a client to be a long, long way away, um, as opposed to us being together in a room working closely. Um, it was to test whether or not the connection was cap capable of us working over a much longer distance, be that in Europe or in Australia. Primarily, the, this would enable the customer to cut costs, um, also opens a creative person to be doing other jobs, and also work with somebody in a different time zone. Um, so as opposed to them be needing to be in an operator's suite at a specific time, um, the operator can more, be more centred in time around their specific requirements. So whether or not they were having breakfast, I enabled the system to uh, deliver the broadcast material uh, to an iPhone or an iPad or a laptop. Um, so it, it basically lent itself to being client friendly um, and flexible. The main benefit of the study was that the system is feasible at a very, very high quality level. Um, this isn't simply broadcast HD um, over IP. This is something far more complex. Um, by the same token, it also simultaneously was able to be broadcast to much smaller platforms such as mobile phones, um, which was found through the study to be a critical attribute of it, uh, in a, it being accepted by clients. So the ease of use, um, in fact, was almost, I would say, if not more so, critical in, in, in terms of its feasibility. My main lesson would be that um, human factors are critical in, in new technological advances and it's important whether or not you have the power or the speed or any of these wonderful technological advances to make your new digital product palatable and acceptable to a client um, and that's critical. Uh, oh, it's acceptability for someone and it's ease of use is critical over um, sheer computational power or ability to pump data.